the rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring the little bell. Ring that little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. So a, a, a phrase used often by uh, people who would describe themselves as liberal progressive. I think that's a way, a, a title that's not uh, uh, offensive to them, right? They would describe, is uh, uh, they're on the right side of history, right? We're on the, you don't want to be on the wrong side of history. You want to be on the right side of history, right? That's the phrase they use. Over and over and over and over again. Um, I don't think you are. I don't think you are. And honestly, I think Neil Ga Neil Gaiman uh, genuinely isn't racist in any way, shape, or form. I I and I think he wants to be a good person. Um, I think he's going to be so insanely ashamed and embarrassed of this Sandman series that's coming out in about a week. We uh, uh, we we just had a trailer from uh, um, uh, San Diego Comic Con. And it looks fantastic. It looks absolutely fantastic, except the uh, the many race and gender swaps. That um, is just tokenism, right? It's just empty, empty, empty tokenism. Uh, uh, and it really is so sad because this show looks like such a fantastic adaptation of it. Uh, what one uh, uh, gender swap though, which on the strength of this this trailer, is. Uh, Good. It, it that really, really, really works well. That I'm kind of happy about is Gwendolyn Christie as Satan, right? Uh, uh, that's because they seem to completely change the character. Like right? they give, they given this the character a different, yeah, you know, a whole, you know, it's a different character. Whereas you've got other characters like Lucian, uh, who's like uh, again, fi fine actress, right? They're all. I'm not. This is no criticism on, on anybody's acting ability. Uh, but Lucian is designed to be a stuffy librarian from the turn of the century. They they weren't they weren't black bald black women, right? Uh, and and, the, and you, there's an emotional resonance, right, that you get from that visual imaging. So if you're gonna if you want to hire somebody who isn't a, doesn't look like a stuffy librarian, then rebuild that freaking character from the ground up, which it looks like they have not done by look, looking at the costume. Uh, um, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, uh, but then again, you have so much of it that looks so in insanely perfect, right? It is so 2022, right? It's so 2022. Uh, um, and, oh, and death. I mean, I'm sorry. Death is a super white goth girl, right? How, uh, you, 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 you're the bullshit that came out of, uh, of Neil Gamer's mouth, which I think he believes, right? He said, well, that's the voice you want to hear when you go, uh, okay. That's not the character you wrote, right? And having somebody who cannot play that character, ape that character, uh, uh, diminishes both the work and 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 the uh, 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 the actress involved, right? It re it really genuinely genuinely does. So um, I I think it's fair to say I have mixed feelings about this trailer, right? I think I think that, that I, I think that's what I'm trying to say. I have mixed feelings about the trailer. So much of it looks so good, and so much of it looks like. Uh, uh, I'm looking at and going Neil Gaiman because uh, I think this uh, this insanity, this uh, insanity of representation, or which isn't representation, it's token uh, 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 tokenism. I think this insanity of tokenism is, is very soon going to end, right? I think the I think the wheels are coming off the wagon in every way, shape, and form, right? It's uh, 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 the world is essentially in a disastrous state, right? And I don't, you know, global war, it, it's just not doing well, right? And I think push is going to come to shove. Probably not before this show wears, but by this time next year, I think we're going to be living in a qualitatively different world. Five years from now, Neil Gaiman is going to look at this trailer and look at the show, and sh I believe he's going to shudder with absolute embarrassment at, at uh, how he has used people, right? How he has used people uh, to aggrandize himself, which I think is what, what what's going on here. Um, and I don't think he's doing it uh, um, as out of his own flu uh, uh, fruition. I think he's doing it because he's being swept along with the currents of uh, society, and society is just being somewhat insanely idiotic, right? Uh, insanely idiotic and uh, uh, pretty darn racist, in my, in my opinion. Fine. With that, with that said, let's watch this trailer together. It's just, I did the trailer reaction on my live stream last night. Uh, uh, like, share, subscribe. As I said, comment. Let me know what you think. If you uh, let me know if you disagree completely, that's fine. Uh, uh, I, honestly, I don't mind being wrong. I don't mind being people disagreeing with it. It's good that we can do that, right? That's a good thing. So like, share, subscribe, comment, sign up my Substack, which is my email newsletter. Uh, I give out a bunch of free stuff on that all the time. Uh, uh, like old Doctor Who 
comic strips and books that that are are, are out of print. I'm mainly a Doctor Who channel, right? Uh, that's out, out of print. I and I have a paid for, uh, paid channel. Oh, if you like a bit of Neil Gaiman, you'll probably like this. I I this is what I'm serializing right now on the on my pay sub stack. It's uh, biblical Bible stories, atheist creatures, uh, uh, atheist creationists, uh, rationalists, and rogues. Right? It's a uh, uh, it's kind of like the Vertigo books that that, that were around when the uh, Sandman was going, right? Because uh, 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 that's the sort of comic I like. Uh, five bucks a month, baby. It's basically an excuse for you to be able to throw, throw me a few bucks. I ain't going to stop you. I ain't going to stop you. Uh, 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 so anyway, like, share, subscribe, comment, all those good things. Now let me head over to me from last night. Which is what it is. It's horrible tokenism in an otherwise fantastic looking trade. And it, it, it's a, it looks fantastic. I mean, it just does. It's just such a blight on it. Your waking world is shaped by dreams. I mean, I mean, this is just perfect. It really, it really is. I mean, I mean, yeah, this is where you got Destiny's Realm. I, if you've read the comic, this is just a perfect realization of it. It's, it's breathtaking how perfect it is, right? It's like it reached inside the uh, amalgamated brain of Neil Gaiman and who's the artist on these ones? I can't remember, right? And pulled that out. It's incredible, right? It's such an incredible job. Dreams and nightmares that I create and which I must control. So, you know, again, this is directly from the first issue. Oh, it, it's just gorgeous. It, it, it's insanely gorgeous. Your boy Zach's got a really funny take on this. Uh, uh, he, he plays the trailer and over it he plays the soundtrack or something. He's saying, uh, uh, is that fried chicken? No, it's fried bat. Well, I don't want fried bat. So, well, it's so much cheaper than the chicken. So, but I go and try the fried bat. I don't want the fried bat. I want the fried chicken. No, we're only going to give you the fried bat. Yeah, it's, 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 well, I don't want that. That basically, yeah, taking it. There's like they're just making fundamental changes, but there's so much in it that is like so spot on. I mean, like, this, and this is right from the first, the end of the first issue, uh, uh, and it's perfectly realized. I mean, it just really, absolutely is. And also, it seems to be adapted as a narrative for TV. So so far, so good, right? So this is the Sandman trailer. Like, that's perfect. Oh, that is just perfect. He's out there looking for me, isn't he? I mean, yeah, he's great. Can you... Corinthian is the uh, the main villain. Is. And here, here we have the identity politics like coming in. So this character is Lucian, who's based on like a stuffy old Edwardian librarian, right? Uh, um, who's got like some kind of impish quality to him but that's basically it imagine the damage he could do and, and now it's, um, I need your it's help. a totally different character but they're not in this they're having a dress as the same character right uh in that actually she was in a different costume but be and the other thing that and she's she's wearing the traditional lucian costume i don't know it's like it seems to be it should be a different character from the ground up uh, but it, it, see, uh, it seems like it's shoehorned in. If dreams disappear, then so will humanity. Yeah, here yeah, one second. Like, like, I, I, it's, it's no diss on the actress. I mean, it, it's just that it's like you're you're being you're you're being forced in there because of your gender and skin color, right? Your your gender and skin color is being made to be very, very important while the while they're screaming it's not important at all, right? And I think they're going to wake up from all this at some point, right? I think I don't think this is tenable, but I think yeah, I think this yeah, I do think they're going to wake up from this at some point. And I think Daniel Game is going to look back and is going to be embarrassed, right? I think a lot of people are going to look back and be embarrassed. Humanity. I could do without dreams for a while. Yeah, I mean, I, a decent... I, I didn't mind the idea of Jenna Coleman playing uh, Lady Je uh, Joanna Constantine, who was like a, a established figure. Like Constantine goes throughout time, there's different incarnations of him. Then there's a female version in the 18th century or 19th century. I can't remember where it is. And, but they replaced Constantine with a 
female. I mean, Constantine is so central. I mean, like very masculine character. And it, I, I it just it, it's so disappointed when everything else is so freaking perfect. Not sleeping ages. I'm not gonna stop until I've reached. Yeah, oh my god, world. I can't believe they're doing this to you. Okay, then you're back to awesome beyond awesome. Right, there's this whole bit at the end of the um what was it? There's a th two or three part in four or five and six with Dr. Destiny. It's so creepy. Yeah, see Dr. D. Go back over there for a second. I'm not going to stop. Yeah, here you go. It, it's, it's, it was it David uh, uh, Lewis? I can't remember that. Until I've reshaped this world. Tell us what power of dreams. Okay, so that's actually a recast, a, a woke recast that I quite like. When what power uh, of dreams. As Satan, right? I, I, uh, um... Yeah, I, I, you know, uh, um, yeah, I think Gwendolyn Christie, I mean, she's really selling it here to me, right? And I had a lot of doubts about her. Let's uh, look at see it from the beginning. Tell us what power of dreams you now. Yeah, perfect. Like, I, I, like I, they have, uh, what was it, the House of Mystery? That's Goldie, the uh, uh, the gargoyle. It's just one. I mean, I, there's so much that's just perfect. I thought about giving up, and then I mean, like, I'm sorry. This is this is it's just bullshit. You're making a joke of her, like you're saying. There's no, I don't see anything. There's no, di you you. You I mean, like you're basically painting a big red arrow on her, saying that she is her skin color. It's so stupid, and it's so patronizing. And don't be wrong, I don't want to. I'm sure she's great in the role, but like that, you're trying to make it the same is ridiculous, right? It's. It, it, I mean, like what I see no difference in this and death, who is like the whitest white girl ever. Oh. But I have a job to do, and I do it. I think so. And, and, and you know, it's all uh, you know. It's all about how death would, like, how how death would resonate on the viewer of death, right? So if you have it, yeah, I'm sorry, you're going to have a black woman is going to be a different from the white goth girl, right? They, they, there's different resonances, right? That's why you wrote it that way now. <laughs> it's, 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 it's so st and again I just think five years from now and I don't that's how short a time I think is going to be there's going to look back and be so, he's so embarrassed so embarrassed that, that he did this changed but the Gwen Gwendolyn Christie does look pretty darn good she tell me everything every thought every feeling uh, yeah he looks excellent My creations do not walk amongst the living, killing mortals for pleasure. Oh, you don't think dreams can die? Let's find out. Nightmares do not belong. Yeah, like... It just makes you look bad. Nightmares. Yeah, I mean, it... It, it, it doesn't work. You know, it again by pretending there's no difference, you make the difference scream so loudly. Do not belong in the waking world. Oh, it turns out I fit right in. I mean, that looks great though. Then you got the Jack Pumpkin. I mean, that that just looks fantastic. And I don't mind her when she's in this outfit. That one works a little bit better because it feels like somebody different. Dreams don't die. Mr. Sandman, bring me a dream. Oh, so it's like, oh, it's a real double edged sword, that one, isn't it? 
Ready and double in sword. My name's Sheila Beck and the rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe. And ring that little bell. Ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. Yeah!